hello my dear friends so hold on So today I am going to start because someone uh, demanded to me and uh, <coughs> so today I am going to start a BAP on HANA session. So in this session I will cover in depth the concepts of Core Data Services, AMDP, AMDP means ABAP, ABAP Managed Database Procedures, right? So the first thing, what is the advantages with HANA? When we talk about HANA, ABAP on HANA or ABAP on S4 HANA. So before S4 HANA, we have or we had R3 system so why S4 HANA came into the picture ABAP on HANA we can call for uh, as a technical but what is the advantages with the S4 HANA so before R3 sorry before S4 we had R3 so simple I will explain you first how data travels from the presentation layer or application layer we call this as a web stack or application layer first understand what is mean by R3 so if we write a b c d e f g h then s before s r comes right like p q r then s so 1 2 3 4 5 these are the digits <coughs> after 3 what comes 4 now take this r with 3 it's r 3 now if we take this s with 4 of next then it comes s4 that's why we call s4 so s4 hana is new business suits okay so the big benefit of the s4 hana is it has a core compatibility to connect with the sensors so you can collect the data through the sensors now let's understand the r3 what is r3 first we start from the basic what is r3 r means real time 3 means 3 tier tire architecture so guys you can contact me here my name is Mans Nagar. You can contact me on plus nine one nine six five two eight double four zero three six for your any query. You can contact me direct here. So first understand <coughs> what is three tier architecture. Three tier architecture means suppose this is your SAP server or system. It has three layers first layer is the present presentation layer 
we call this layer as a GUI. GUI means graphical user interface. So in SAP, is uh, if everyone executes SE11 transaction code to work with the central repository system or work with the DDIC, data dictionary. Data dictionary is main central repository system. Means in the server, there is a database exist in the server. Hmm? In the database, we have every tables. Tables means all the business related tables such as Mara for material master, PBAK, VBAP, sales table we have, BSCG, FI tables we have, means all kind of different different tables we have like pool table, cluster, transparent table we have. All table exist in the form of row and column into the database. So suppose this is your database. Suppose this is your HANA database. So as I told you, SC11 is transaction code to work with the DDIC. Actually inside the database, DDIC exists. DDIC is the central point where all the tables structures domains data elements table type type pools lock objects exists here so here i'm explaining what is the r3 actual r3 means suppose so first in R3 we have three layers, one is the presentation layer, we call this as a GUI. GUI means if you log in with the SAP system, if you enter SC11 transaction code or SC38 transaction code or to create the sales order VA01 transaction code, a functional, a functional people, the functional guy, consultant, suppose he executes VA01 to create a sales order, to display the sales order he will execute VA03. That means he is working, he is executing all this transaction into the presentation layer. In between presentation layer and database layer, we call this is a database layer DL. In short form, we call PL DL. In between both layers, we have a web stack. A web stack means this is the application layer. This is the app layer. <coughs> app layer means if a person who is a technical person like a web consultant, those people write code here in the web app layer, in the application layer. So how data travels, <coughs> how data travels, suppose this is the guy. He is the salesperson. Salesperson means he is the SD consultant, SAP SD consultant. He wants to get some, he wants to change some sales order records or he wants to display some sales order records from the database. So what he will do? He will go here, he, go here means directly he will go to the SAP system, he will execute VA03 transaction code and he will enter the sales order number then the related corresponding items with all the details would be displayed. So now I will tell you in the R3 system how data travels. So as we know when we work with any organization there is n number of consultants they work with the system or servers. There is no single person. In the big organization suppose there is n number of SD people, consultants, and number of MM consultants, multiple FI consultants, ABAP people, they work with the system or servers. So suppose an example, this SD consultant, if he execute VA03 transaction code, so what happens? When he put sales order number here in the VA03, when he click on the execute or enter button, what happens? Immediately, your system will go inside the ABAP stack 
system internally what happens i am going to tell you here some your standard transaction code will call some standard or there is a behind some standard structures over your system will call some or n number of multiples business logics or programs behind the system or in a web stack then again it will go to the database so suppose you put here sales document number 4979 so when he press presses enter button so immediate your request will travel from the presentation layer to a web layer or business layer here some business logic would be triggered again your request will go to the database layer inside the database your system will check this 4979 exist here or not if there is no 4979 is there in the database table vbak suppose immediate your system will give an error invalid record or 4979 is example not there if your data is matched here immediate your response will go back from the database layer to the business layer then from the business layer it will go to the presentation layer means gui then this sd consultant will be able to or will able to see will be able to see the output now actually what happens one more thing so suppose this is the r3 system normal r3 system so first you should you should remember s4 hana is a new business suit right so now suppose this is r3 system here we have presentation layer here we have business layer or a web stack or we call this as the application layer we have here database layer database layer contains database database contains ddic ddic controller tables which is which is the central repository system now suppose i give i have given you an example for the functional consultant sap functional consultant and always remember in an industry or in a company there is no single person who work with the system a number of person works with the system from remotely from different different locations so traffic comes to the server a lot so suppose he is the one suppose now he is the abap consultant who is responsible to write abap code who is the abap so he is a web consultant he will write the code or he will work here in the sc38 transaction code sc38 means he work under the business layer or application layer so what happens when he a web consultant suppose he will get one requirement he wants to get maximum salary maximum suppose there are 10000 records is there 10000 records you want to get from the database table and in this 10000 records suppose these are the salary he wants to get maximum salary from the 10000 of records example this is the 1 lakh record is there not 10000 this is 1 lakh record is there because data will contain a number of records right so he wants to get maximum salary out of this 1 lakh records so what happens he will build a report in the trip, in this report he will use select statement obviously select statement we used to hit the database table or get the database table or get the records from the database table or views now assume when he is a, suppose he is a web consultant he design a report so if you execute that report that report would be give you maximum salary out of 1 lakh employees or 10000 employees for example so what happens when he create a report into the abap layer or abap stack when he executes the report so how request will travel from the abap to abap layer to database layer 
because database layer contain database tables tables contains records so what happens so here so or what will be happen when he execute this report the request will go from the application layer to the database layer here here record will come here then again because he created one report in a web so means in that web report he use aggregation functions aggregation function means when we use like maximum minimum salary maximum amount kind of thing when we want to get from the database table or views we use aggregations and these kind of aggregation these kind of uh, requirement or logics put a lots of burden to the database so what will happen so the request will go from the application layer to a web layer sorry application layer to database layer then it come comes back then aggregation will be happened here then we get an output into the presentation layer suppose he has a report if you enter an employee name suppose uh, then if you execute that report maximum salary out of 10000 you will get into one output output could be in the lv format grid format list format on normal format in a message kind of so aggregation takes a lots puts a lots of burden to the app layer because system needs to filter your select statement needs to filter 10000 or 1 lakhs repo uh, records and your system wants to get maximum the person who has max salary out of 1 lakh people so for every request will go here executes here in the database come back executes we get report so how many processes is going on here one process two process three process so if i'm talking about to 10 20 record it's no problem but now i'm talking about thousands or lakhs of report records filter the lakhs or thousands of records so these kind of like aggregation and technique puts a lots of burden your request again and again needs to go from the application to database then come back then presentation we get here output of our report then your request will move from the application of web stack to database layer come back to the gui we get the output so if there is a lacks of report, uh, records need to needs to filter then lacks thousand or lacks of times your compiler or your request will reach to the database see iteration one kind of iteration and one kind of obviously it puts a lots of burden if i'm talking about the lacks of report records isn't it see this it happens very quick very quickly into the database into the sap server but yes it puts burden so our main motto to work with the core data services or web on hana to reduce the load reduce the load on the database the our main motto and here we call one concept for see see this uh, image i told you just this is a presentation layer this is a business layer or a web layer or this is a database layer so for every request needs to travel here then we get the output so if i will give you a diagram so it look like this why here more space here why less less space here can you see this very less like because database contains a lots of records so we use this diagram if we are talking about the code push down technique code push i will explain you down technique so before code push down means without hana r3 in r3 normal r3 system we consider this big big space big area means database less area means 
less area means your business application layer so if i am talking about s4 hana or hana or a web on hana what happens application layer or web app stack merge into the database both layer merge together presentation layer this is suppose presentation layer a gui now think about it now suppose one as the consultant or sap web app consultant wants to get lakhs of records what happens he will write code here directly into the hana database by using the cds view that would be executed here everything happens here every execution would be happens here and directly we get the output so how many steps there one step two step previously it was three step your request will travel from presentation to web app web app to web app layer to database layer so if we get so suppose he is a web app person or a web guy now he wants to get filter 10000 records out of who has a max salary so what will be happen at run time so every aggregation kind of things button things will be happen directly inside the database layer simple example i will give you suppose this is a shopping mall or grocery shop you want suppose you want one um, candy you want some and some fruits and water bottle and this is your house suppose you are here now so tell me which way is the best way to save the time energy and processes first time you go here from your house to grocery shop you will purchase candy you come back to your home then again you will go to the shopping mall or grocery shop then you will purchase fruit and you will come back again you want again you want bottle then again you will go to the purchase water bottle and you will come back to your home how many processes here how many efforts you did here 1 2 3 4 5 6 right three times you need to go three times obviously if you go then you have to come back now suppose now now suppose that this is your house you are here carry one big basket or carry one basket go from your home home to grocery shop purchase everything in a single step all three items come back to your home how many steps is there one two this is the easiest way it will save your time your fuel if you will go through vehicle and your energy efforts also same thing happens in the database why we call real time real time means compare the things with the real time then you will understand easily now i'm talking about going to talk about hana <coughs> you understand the why what is hana so we call here now remember this symbol always if i am talking about s4 which is the new business suit s4 hana hana is uh, hana is not a everest mountain it's a like a very small not a small but yes if you learn slowly slowly hana you will get some more interest into the hana so the thing is now if i'm talking about s4 hana you understood how data travels to r3 now we are going to talk about s4 hana in s4 hana i told abap layer we call this is the business layer or we call this is a abap stack 
merge into the database layer means there is only one layer is there second layer is a presentation layer which we call GUI obviously here you execute all the T code SC38 or VA01, VA02, VA03 or any SC11 execute you here so see our main motto to work with the HANA is code to, to put the code into the down so this symbol we use here why this is the down can you see this is the downside this is the upside previously it was upside and it was downside now this is down this this point came to down means we do all the aggregation kind of things what we write the business logic if we use through writing through the CDS views or AMDP that business logic we write directly into the HANA database so so to get the data if so suppose system takes very less time to get the data from database and process here because both are a web stack and database both are in the into the single layer right so this symbol we use for code push down technique code push down means we pushed all the code into the down and what is the down down comes database layer then what is the upper up up comes presentation layer comes up what is the down down comes database layer so that's why we call code push down we push all the code inside the database we merge the bot layer in case of the HANA yes understood so in case of the HANA so HANA supports column storage the benefits of the column storage now I'm going to tell you so this is the architecture actually so HANA supports column storage and why, why column storage is much faster the benefit of the another benefit of the HANA your storage has been optimized what is the storage storage means database so your database layer has been optimized now what is the benefit of the column storage column storage means RAM can be used to store the data with higher compression format so when you use the column storage or when you use the code push down technique okay down means down database layer is there up means presentation layer is there forget about the business layer because because business no because business layer merge into the database layer here and this is another two layers is there now so when you use the column storage with HANA so your data would be stored inside the RAM I saw some servers big big servers they have multiple racks server contains some racks racks have like Xeon processor or multiple RAMs I saw many RAMs is there okay like server motherboards comes like socket with the one processor two processor three processor four processor multiple RAMs you can put here in the server motherboard I saw server motherboard servers so this so your data would exist here into the RAM not into the hard disk because nowadays SSD came into the market SSD solid state drive previously we had in our nowadays if you purchase any uh, laptop you will find SSD 2 TB SSD 1 TB SSD 500 G, uh, GB SSD previously we had with, with our every laptop hard disk hard disk has one motor one DC motor so it has metal disk so metal disk takes time a lot of time to process the data okay 
when you do anything uh, so request will travel from processor to ram ram to hard disk from hard disk to ram ram to process then you will get the output suppose you are watching any movie in your laptop but now this has been converted into the ram in case of hana so your data comes with very highly compression compressed format or high higher compression format into the ram so that's why in case of the hana execution is more fast so in case of the hana your backup management or chain management both has been modified or optimized here one more thing if you use hana then compression can be improved so in if you using hana compression means if you get multiple record from the database tables it is stores into the ram instead of hard disk so ram is a primary memory as we know and a simple thing if i will give you one ssd and if i will give you one hard disk so ssd is 10 time faster than hard disk because ssd doesn't contain any metal disk so no needs to like uh, rotate so that's why speed speed became more faster when we are talking about hana so i told you about the aggregations aggregation means sometimes we get suppose requirement we have to get the maximum salary or average kind of thing average or minimum or we have to count suppose counts some amounts or digits okay or we have to do some sum when we do these kind of things it puts a lot of burden if you are not using hana behind the database so it puts a lots of burden to the application layer so that's why hana came into the picture to reduce the load from the application layer so now so this is one kind of optimization technique when we are talking about the hana now few things i am going to share with you now some point you, you can note it down so uh, now i am talking about cds view so cds view is nothing but core data services this is the way to communicate with direct with database so some points i am going to give you you can note it down R row and column storage i told you about the column storage hana supports column store row storage also so what is the differences so row storage if your database table you want frequently modify we go with the row storage if you want to modify your database table frequently some records frequently go with row storage so don't use column storage if all the columns are required to be read suppose from the database table if you want to read all the columns don't use column storage use row storage for performance during an optimization i always deny don't use select star it gets all the necessary record from the database table or view suppose you want 10 records and if you use a star here so it will get all the record from the database table or views and put into your internal table now if you are working with the row storage if you use select star with the row storage the performance would be much faster 
if you use select star statement in case of you are working with the row storage then performance would be more faster but you should avoid this select star so if you have suppose large number of unique values unique records into the database table or views go with the row storage so suppose if 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 data is repeats again and again suppose if you want to get some data and it repeats again and again duplicatory data is there go with the column storage if you want performance then use column storage so when you use the row storage so how data uh, how ha what happens actually when you use the row storage so data comes into the compression format compressed highly compression form compressed format so row storage compresses your data it compresses your data so performance that's why performance is low compared to column storage and so you we should use column storage when we use our hana now i'm talking about the core data services what is a cds we heard about the cds 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 we here i am going to share with you few things three concept is there analytical view attributes view or calculation view see carefully these three are the concepts these concepts comes under the hana hana cds is two types one is the hana cds second is the abap cds so what is the analytical or attributes view calculation views just forget about the web now there is one ide there which is the eclipse eclipse is the open source ide you can work with the hana web on hana or hana direct hana one more tool is there so first i will show you this is a clip id this is the id to work with the hana so here adt client a web development tool means if you integrate one plugin so help install new software this is the ide for java developer okay or for our sap consultants so if you integrate this plugin one plugin is there tools don't hana dona so here you can integrate a web development tool edt you can work for bw for hana 
cloud hana tools see hana tools administration database development also you can do here i have integrated all this i updated this plugins so you need to update up, uh, integrate this plugins so what is the cds view another tool is another id is this is the open source actually but another tool is the name is hana studio if you work with the hana studio directly you that means you work with cds view hana cds hana cds or a web cds also you can work here hana cds so what is the analytical view attributes view or calculation view see if you want to get the data in this form pie charts chai chart five chart in the form of charts like five percent if you want sub, suppose sales order records your business partners details if you want to get from the database table tables could be any you can see here into the chart format so you can use here analytical 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 view and this you have to work inside the hana studio if you want to do this kind of uh, things you want to work with the analytical view you have to work with the hana studio hana studio means if you work with the hana studio that means directly you are working inside the hana database directly inside the hana database you are working if you want to work with the analytical view so now calculation view if you want to get some maximum average minimum kind of uh, this kind of record if you want to get some records or if you would directly want to work inside the hana database directly inside the hana database obviously it would be faster right so you work with the calculation view or attributes view we also use analytical means like you can see the output in this form also chart percentage pie charts minimum maximum like in this format you can see the output now when we work with the analytical calculation attributes view that means we do we are not working on a web we are working directly inside the hana database those people they are working as a hana developer database developer okay then they use then they can use cds with native hana one more thing one more point hana cds hana cds doesn't supports open sql first i will tell you what is open what is native sql open sql can suppose this is a open sql open sql means can speak with any kind of database suppose this is a microsoft sql server or hana database then this open sql can speak with this you can write the code inside this database here you can this or sybase you can directly work with this or mysql database open sql can speak any kind of database directly but if i am talking about hana sql or native sql native means for particular native sql means native sql is specific to database so always remember can you work with the hana studio suppose hana studio and you are working here cds hana cds it supports only native sql means you directly design analytical view calculation view here directly inside the database hana database now what is the cds view cds view in a web 
means if you use native hana development then at the point of time we need hana cds because hana cds view is one type of converter hana cds is one kind of converter who converts your abap program logic business logic with native hana sql statement to understand the hana database or communicate when you create abap cds then automatically cds view would be created in the hana so here as we know in in the one only one layer like in case of s4 hana there is a presentation layer is business layer is there abap stack or database this is a database suppose this is a hana database here i am created one suppose through eclipse on business layer eclipse i created one cds which is the hana cds suppose hana cds what happens when you use the hana cds and here you use abap with abap so automatically your hana cds will work as a converter it converts your abap logic to hana means it will make a link in between your abap means directly hana database will not understand your abap language abap but if you work with the cds hana hana cds then this cds will help you to speak to hana database through abap right that's the benefit of the cds views so more things is there in the cds view like i will give you the some uh, i will uh, give you some transaction codes like st04 st8 and st03 st05 as we know for performance tuning like sql tracer sql md here in case of the hana some new tools came into the picture actually now let's dig more into the some important t codes i will explain in here you can note it down which is the hana database t codes uh, we use for performance check performance so scov we use for sql monitor srt cm we use recording tool db cockpit we use database analyzer sql cache we can analyze here SCI code inspector we use SQLM SQL monitor to monitor production system we can monitor here as these are we use in the real time and this training is for real time ATC we use about test cockpit SC12 we use details STAD we use workload business transaction analyzer static transaction records ST05 SQL tracer ST12 collection of T codes like STAD, ST80, and ST05. SAP HANA plan visualizer plan vis we use here. ST02 we use analyze the typically SAP memory setting in the system. If you want to check database performance monitor, I'm talking about this tool for the database. So we use here ST04 or DB cockpit. ST06 we use for operating system monitor ST03 we use SAP system workload monitor now i'm talking about the abap the t codes which use performance tuning and optimization for abap ST05 we can use sql tracer slim transaction code code inspector extended program check abap test cockpit atc now i'm going to start with the cds view so normally so how join works so suppose i have this table this table this is inner join inner join means in the both table what is similar similar records we get through the inner joins this we use for left outer join left outer join right outer join right 
or right join touch on if i want to if i want to get some rec only records in the table which is here use right join if i want to get this record left outer join if i want to similar record from the board table i will use inner join here one in the series view one concept came into the picture which is we call union keyword union i will also give the native hana training native hana but few things i am going to like share here union when we were with the web series when we were with the web series we use here one keyword union so if i want to join multiple select statements suppose select this getting some data from different table this is another select i want to if i am getting table here uh, data from different table this is a different select i want to join all this select and want one output we use here union concept how we use that i will show you in the next classes into the practical i have one question why we need cds view simple thing cds we use for reusability purpose i will tell you how reusability so also you heard about side by side approach car side by side approach scenario so first thing cds what is a cds first we use for reusability purpose cds is completely based on sql cds is based on sql structure query language and standard features we use here with the cds such as joins unions built in function is directly available in cds so these kind of functions such as joins unions i have uploaded some video on my channel there you can see the cds we have explained what is a cds view i will show this videos to you this is uh, some will they want to prompt alias is nothing but a referential name here just like my name is manas you can call me like uh, any another Bahamak. name like this kind of so this is a this is, uh, like this just is a so this is my report is there uh, uh, tell you a cds this is the system this cds i explained how how we write the cds view how we consume consume into the report so you can see this video what is the format what is the template and what is the structure so these are the Sorry. annotations example this is my skill view name now. client dependent is yes. this is a catalog you compile so i you uploaded this video remove as per recommend or you can add uh, code push down technique i also uploaded this video so so guys cds means cds is fully compatible with any database so if you want to why cds is very popular because you can communicate with any database any database means you can speak with the microsoft sql server hana database or any database okay i have one question if you go to the c11 transaction code here we can see some normal views which is the maintenance view projection view or uh, database view can you do here auto joins left auto join right auto join can you do with this views into a double one transaction code no we can't but in case of the cds view we can do cds view is nothing but advanced view 
एडवांस काइंड ऑफ व्यू सो सी डी एस मीन्स डी डी एल सोर्स डेटा डिफिनेशन लैंग्वेज सोर्स सो इफ आई एम टॉकिंग टेक्निकली सो टेक्निकली एक्चुअली सी डी एस इज अनाउंसमेंट ऑफ एस क्यूल विच प्रोवाइड्स अस विद डेटा डिफिनेशन लैंग्वेज फॉर डिफाइनिंग सीमेंटिकली रिच डेटा बेस टेबल व्यूज सी डी एस एंटिटीज एंड यूजर डिफाइंड टाइप्स इन द डेटा बेस सी डी एस इज नथिंग बट अनाउंसमेंट ऑफ द डेटा बेस हेयर सम कॉन्सेप्ट कमिंग टू द पिक्चर लाइक एनोटेशंस एसोसिएशंस सो नॉर्मली हाउ वी ज्वाइन वी यूज इन आर ज्वाइंस और फॉर ऑल एंट्रीज टू ज्वाइन सम टेबल्स राइट सपोज आई हैव वन टेबल एंड द टेबल I want one record from this table, or zero record from my this left table. I want one record from this table. So here one concept came to the picture: association. So here we can use association, like in in this form in the bracket. We can use suppose from less left. Uh, I will use from left left table. I want zero record. Then dot dot one. I will put here. This will become joining. Inner joints. This will become join at run time with the CDS. So, annotations means to enrich the data model which additional domain specific metadata and an annotation is a line of code that starts with at the. Annotations we use with at the rate. These are the annotations. Same as this. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. I am in mute. I am hearing. I am hearing. So, at the rate of app catalog, SQL. These are the annotations. App catalog, app catalog compiler, compiler filter, true, app access control. See, can you see? This is this is my SQL view name. It exists into the directly HANA database. SQL view, right? This is a SQL view. ab app catalog compiler compiler filter to yes compiler would be activated access control authorization check not required we no need to check or we can use a check end user text label label this will come into my output to the cds view define view this is the keyword to define the cds view this is my cds view name as select from i want to get some data from the snwd sales order table as so this is alias name inner join i am using here inner join and business partner on so dos by both key fields i am joining here from the board table like for bpa or so i am joining two tables left outer join i am using here header as invoice and key based on the this is the key this we call elements this is the key fields we use key fields in the select statement right so here we use in this form this is we use case we can put our additional business logic see here Now, next step. One more annotation. I would like. What are the associations? These are the associations to join some tables. These are the associations. An association on a conceptual level, replacing join with simple path expression in queries. These are the associations. i used here you can follow my this videos you will understand in a better way put it to the for a table just from this table so this is the we need to understand means i want to tell to the system a web catalog we working with the bw tables so i work with the bw same as that see video expression here also we can use Ex uh, association just to add some tables nothing else nothing to it just you can add through suppose i want some suppose i want one record from my left table and three or uh, five records from here so put here one dot dot five so uh, expressions will come into the picture so next points i will native hana or cds view more in depth in, into my next class so native hana also is important <sighs> thank you
थैंक्स फॉर टाइम गाइस बाय बाय वी विल मेट आई विल कंटिन्यू बाय टुमारो